Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? What's going down? I know y'all like, she really love us this much. She dropping all these videos. This <laughs> The last video was a bonus, boo. That was for you in return of in return of all of your love and your support. I thank you. I give love to those who give love to me. I believe in reciprocity, right? So <clears throat> let's get to it. We gonna hold have these long long messages and whatnot for the uh, August generals because I have I am having reading specials right now. I have got two more days left um, to get in on your reading special. Um, I did make a video about that. Go check that out. But for those of you who are wanting the uh, the same day 15 minute readings, we're gonna schedule that the same day. For those of you who are wanting 30 minute readings, they are discounted price. The 45 minutes and hourly readings are also discounted price. So go check that out. Also, um, this will be for my summer rise of Venus and cross watches of Pisces, my Pisces. All right, all right, I love the fish song, y'all. Um, <laughs> Y'all, please uplift me in prayer. Mokey is going for a jizzle today, okay? I know, I know. I had the whole big big girl moment. But you know, my tower was filled. My tower was filled with a little bit a humbling understanding and a little bit more insight. You know, sometimes you got to crawl before you walk. And, you know, me being that Pisces, Moon, Aries, um, Sun, sometimes I want to hit the world like, boom. But, you know, God may need me to hit it like, knock, knock. Okay, not so much as the boom. Don't kick the door down, you know. It's going to take a little work to get that back up. <laughs> and then everybody might be mad at you. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> Pisces, um, the vibe I feel for y'all is really beautiful. I feel all new. And I think I named one of y'all videos, All New New or New New or something like that. But I just feel just a replenishing energy. It's a beautiful aura. It's like a like kind of rainbow, rainbow aura, if I can... Um, Explaining you what I see in my third eye, okay? Um, y'all, love is in the air, right? So, if this is not a personal, it's a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found right here down in the description. I worked hard on that shit and get in on your reading specials. Mocha is available, okay? Let's get it. <clears throat> so, the first card I pulled for you for the first to the 15th of August is the Doreen Virtue uh, Crystal Angels Oracle Cards. Y'all know I love these cards, these angel messages. I got to get y'all right, all right? Citrine, unnecessary worries is what you got. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. To me, these cards be looking so good on camera. So when I look it back at the video, it be looking like a blur. So I apologize for that. Y'all already know the drill. And if I stutter, 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 stay with me. Let's get it. Have you been worrying, dear one? This card comes to you as a sign of needless worry, which God and your guardian angels are helping you to release. Chronic worry can be draining and debilitating to physical, mental, and emotional health. Create and attract self-fulfilling prophecies, distract you from your priorities, cause you to second-guess your qualifications to fulfill your life purpose. And that's why God and your guardian angels are lifting these burdens from your mind, heart, and body. They first remind you that all worry is centered in thoughts about the future. With your attention fixed on what's ahead, it's difficult to focus on the present moment. You're guided to notice this present moment, such as how your body feels right now. For example, <clears throat> notice how your feet feel. Wiggle your toes. Then notice your muscles and breathe to release tension. Notice your heartbeat and breath rate and hold the intention for them to relax. Notice your thoughts and notice your feelings. By focusing upon what is going on in the present, your mind is a shifting away from future worries. It's also helpful to reframe statements, expressing your words, using the words, God, please help me with blank. So for I'm sorry. So for instance, instead of I'm worried about my health, say God, please help me with my health. Worry never helps anything, but prayer always helps everything. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you guys are learning how to release your burdens in a more healthier way. A lot of you are getting very close to the divine during this time, during the first and the fifteenth. A lot of y'all just really looking for a lot of y'all. I feel just want to save somebody. I have a feeling of saving, like saving, and, and that's what I felt when I was meditating on your energy, and I, I, ironically, I got the hero card. Some of y'all have a fire sign, strong emphasis on Sag, but it could be any fire sign. I feel like you want to save this person. I feel like, you know, this person is 
Um, this person could be being defensive during this time, okay, uh, towards a union. We, you, you really love this person, okay? From the 1st to the 15th, for some of y'all, it's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I do see between the 1st and 15th of August, a lot of y'all are going to be releasing mental doubt because intuitively your third eye is popping it's booming so intuitively you already know what you need to release it's time a lot of y'all are feeling like your hands are tied in the situation you know even though it's some of the things that you can't control that's going on around you these things were destined to happen okay you have a destiny card so if it's a relationship okay get out of mental any type of mental conflict regarding that relationship allow god to go ahead and handle the issue for you okay don't worry so much about it because it's destiny. You can't change destiny. But some of you, you're going to be, um, with your third eye opening, a lot of you are going to be embracing the beauty around your spirituality during this time. A lot of y'all be careful because of the, the elements of the babies are in the building, okay? But a lot of y'all are going to possibly be stepping into your life purpose of counseling others or some form of counseling, okay? A lot of you during this time, a lot of your friends and family may come to you when all heal breaks loose. It's don't be defensive toward them. Offer them love because a lot of y'all life purposes is to be a counselor, okay? I got this Pisces moon and I'm counseling. Here I go. Here I go. So a lot of y'all, this is your life purpose, okay? So if you're wondering, why the hell everybody come to me with their problems? That's why, because chances are your life purpose is to be some form of a spiritual counselor or a mentor, okay? So I do see y'all ending cycles, sunny ending of the cycle. So let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have from now to the 15th of August 2018 for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the cross watchers for the sign of Pisces? Please protect our energies as well as my energy, as well as the energies of Pisces. Protect us from any evil lie, any malice. Protect us from people who are trying to get in the way and be blockages and burdens to our greatest selves, to connect us to our highest selves. God, we ask that you tear down those walls this day and going forward. In your holy name, holy creator, amen. All right, let's get it. Let's just all have my Pisces. Pisces, a lot of y'all are healing during this time. Some of y'all are healing possibly from another fire sign that could even be a Scorpio. Some of you are walking away from the way that you used to do things. And we'll be walking away from the way that you used to do things, the people who used to hang with, the places that you used to go. A lot of y'all um, are in mental conflict or have someone around you in mental conflict. Some of you could be resting from, um, some of you could be stepping back, okay, and resting from a situation uh, that involves a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, okay? Some of y'all are definitely moving away from a Scorpio, okay? Or this could be external to you. Maybe you're dealing with someone who is moving away from a Scorpio. You're ending cycles to go into a new cycle during this time, okay? And for a lot of y'all, it does involve um, a past life connection for you. But some of you, you're feeling a little unsure during this time, okay, what it is that you truly want, what it is that you truly want to do. But that period of indecisiveness is going to be coming to an end. You're ending this cycle and walking into a cycle of newness, okay? You're walking into a cycle that is, <clears throat> I'm sorry, that uh, is tangible, that is going to bring you material things. For some of y'all, y'all are y'all going to be finding out that y'all pregnant, okay? Or y'all hitting from a crazy baby mama situation attachment I'm here. All right, y'all let me know about that because the energy that I feel from that that I just said was interesting, right? You know, I like to take money. Okay, Spirit, please. A lot of y'all are going to be getting truth and clarity possibly from an ear sign regarding a, um, regarding an earth sign, possibly who they have children with or something of that nature, okay? Maybe if you, someone was going through something financially, uh, if you're a man interested in a woman, maybe this woman is just both, uh possibly focusing on her coin right now, okay? And she could be just walking away from the way that she used to see things, okay? Or the, this could be a man. I'm sorry, this could also be a woman with the man or also same sex I'm seeing here too. Spirit, why? Now, some of y'all have the past people coming back and you just being very defensive towards them during this time because you want something real, you want something steady. Some of y'all are healing, okay? And in the midst of your healing, some of y'all are going to meet an Aries, all right? Um, with this person, you want to walk into a period of newness. Hold on, y'all. The damn card fell, okay? I'm short. I'm psyched. All right. Some of y'all are walking away. Some of y'all will be walking away from a job, okay? Or walking away from something that in the past maybe you were passionate about, but you're not seeing it bring 
any some sort of abundance okay so some of y'all will be moving away from a job during this time or some of y'all want to but you're kind of indecisive about it because you're feeling like this is what keep my family afloat you know but if you had threats of possibly losing a job okay y'all and you know i don't like negativity but i do see for some of y'all for people who are walking away from a job you are unhappy at that job anyway so god is going to bless you with a new thank you spirit some of y'all want to reunite with the cancer, okay? And I do see that that is very, very, very possible. Some of y'all are just blocking out your past, but some of your past is coming back to give you mental clarity so that you can fully heal and move forward like a boss, baby. Some of y'all are kind of mentally conflicted about if there's a third-party situation or not, but some of y'all there is. Some of y'all were trying to put in work with the Scorpio who possibly could have put you into a third-party situation with the Virgo or Taurus or Capricorn. And y'all going to be finding that out during this time of the 1st to the 15th. It's retrograde. These retrogrades are cool. Some of y'all are finding out you're pregnant. And for some of, some people, y'all don't want to be pregnant right now. You was in a period of focusing on your money, okay? But someone could possibly find out that they're pregnant. It could be an Aries. It could be an earth sign or an air sign involved with this. Some of y'all are definitely going to experience a tile moment when it comes to work, okay? Especially if you have an air sign boss. Who don't know how to heal the top of you, y'all constantly have conflicts and you find yourself gonna go to jail dealing with this person anyway. Man's rejection is God's protection. Get out the way for you find yourself a hand because you've been to slap the shit out of somebody because you know Pisces, don't nobody know y'all how I know y'all. But some of y'all <laughs> Some of y'all, y'all getting ready to create something. For those of you who are looking to start your own business, this retrograde energy, these, uh, these planets retrograding will definitely be um, uh, walking away from that job or walking away from that three-party situation. I feel like for some of y'all, it's been a blockage for some time. Or this, just that three-party energy has been a blockage for some time. Some of y'all are definitely, them kids is in the building. Some of y'all are pregnant and finna have some babies, okay? And for some of y'all, you got a Taurus or a Libra that you're dealing with, all right? Um, all as well as the Aries here very strongly as well. Also Virgo. Can't stay in the building too. Right, some of y'all are ending cycles with a fire sign, okay? If you were going through a tumultuous cycle with a fire sign that put you in three party situations, possibly were going back and forth to their past and dealing with people from their past, I feel like intuitively you already knew this, but you didn't really want to see it during this time. You're going to see it and you're going to make a decision. Now, am I going to move? Am I going to end this cycle and move forward into a new? And a lot of y'all are going to move forward into newness. A lot of y'all have an indecisive Aquarius, okay? This person. There's, I feel like there's a lot of passion here with this person, but the, 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 the cycle of indecisiveness with this person is getting ready to end, okay? There's going to be truth and clarity, uh, given as well as received, uh, between the 1st and the 15th of August, my babies. And it could definitely involve an air sign, okay? But some of y'all, it's the reason why you possibly had a fire sign being defensive towards you, okay? I feel intuitively, y'all already know, this person is possibly trying to move away from the way that they once did things. This could also be you, Pisces. Some of y'all could definitely be moving away from a, a water sign or an air sign or moving towards a water sign after leaving an air sign. But I do see relationships ending and one picking up very, very, very quickly as soon as one ends. Um... Yeah, some of y'all are trusting y'all intuition about the person who <laughs> you're dealing with, okay? But some of y'all is definitely another water sign. Intuitively, you already know what you need to know, but the proof is going to be in the pudding, and the proof is going to fall right into your lap during this time of the 1st and the 15th. Some of y'all feel rejected by someone. Maybe they can have money issues, or maybe they feel like it's not an equal give and take, okay? But this person is going to open up and uh, offer you love. Again, this person could definitely be an Aries. Or a Leo, okay, or any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay, this person could also be younger as you, but this person ultimately is going to take a leap of faith with you. They're having strength right now, and they are going to communicate that between the 1st and the 15th of August, and baby, you're going to go towards this Ten of Cups, and you're going to get what you want, because guess what, babe? It's destiny for some of y'all who have new job opportunities, because I definitely see new job opportunities coming for those of us who are not working this person. So this person is going to be this hero to you. Or you to that, or maybe it's mutual because I do see an equal give and take here. But some of y'all intuitively know this person is just your person, and even though they're being defensive, don't lose hope or sight of the main mission, baby. Okay, what's for you is for you. You ain't gotta fight for it. You ain't gotta put up all of that damn. Uh, you don't have to put in all of that damn energy of worrying and all of that. Let God do His job, honey. It is yours. Just say, claim, thought, word, action. If you're gonna manifest it. 
Don't worry about it. Just move towards it. Okay? I love y'all, my babies. That's what I have for y'all between the 1st and the 15th of August. I will see y'all uh, with the mid-months. I also may do another bonus because y'all showed out again, as always. My showing out ass babies. I love y'all, Pisces. Mwah. Cards stuck to my damn hand. The Empress, somebody pregnant, okay? The damn Empress. Congratulations. Smoke another the kids. <laughs> Bye, y'all.